Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and in this episode, we're going to further take advantage of the colors of the clay that are available to us to make the server a better place. In my last episode, I built a bridge that was functional, and it was pretty. In this episode, I'm going to make some things that are kind of a little bit smaller scale, but also kind of mirror that taste Yes, because mirror in a taste is a great mixed metaphor. We're going to mix and stir metaphors and senses together to create a functional, beautiful bouquet of small solutions to small problems around the server. Let's begin by showing my menu bar thing so I don't screw up and accidentally, like, ender pearl off a cliff. Actually, the ender pearl I got in the Wells Night episode, I immediately threw into a wall when I was trying to eat stew later. Or not stew. I don't have stew. What do you call it? Um... Trying to eat a carrot, yeah. So, I realized I'm going to need a bunch of hardened clay for this episode. Luckily, I built my house out of it, so I've just been kind of chewing into the wall here as I go. That doesn't look very blue. So, let's let's see. If we put cyan dye in here, that that's not very cyan. Okay, so luckily, I prepared for this externality, not by actually having room my, in my inventory for it, but by having uh, some light blue dye ready to be made, mixed and matched, surrounded by hardened clay. So we got some light blue stained clay now. That's good. One of the things I wanted to do is I've got my, like, material boxes here. And what I've been doing is storing things kind of by category. So red is all my clay-related materials, which I'm actually out of almost after my last bridge-building endeavor. Brown is, uh, is wood-related stuff. This is supposed to be green, but it's not. So we're going to make it green, like so. Boom. Green. And then this up here is metal, and that's supposed to be like whatever this light gray is, which I think kind of works. But let's see. One thing that we are going to need is some yellow stained clay as well. So, hello, living room. Enjoy being slightly living roomier. Excellent. There we go. I'm going to have to put some furniture in here. This is kind of scarce. Spartan. Functional. It's functional because I'm grabbing stuff out of it as I go. That's, that's the extent of its function, probably. Uh, let's, uh, get rid of some of this other stuff. Into my sorted chests. How wonderful. See, it, having a little stuff like this, color coding stuff, can make a big difference. It, uh, just kind of gets your mind in the right place when you need to grab things. So, boom. Four color coded chests. That's the first tip. Second tip. You know what? Let me, uh, put the torch back on the wall. Because, second tip, not having torches on the wall will get you killed. It's a good one. Actual second tip, though is uh, color code your ender portals. Now, we've got districts on the server. We got Zonin that Isuma and some folks, uh, including me, I kind of was involved. I didn't I didn't really do the heavy lifting on this, I'm going to be honest. But some folks did the heavy lifting and figured out they wanted different parts of the server to have different color codes. Like, this is the purple area, which means it's supposed to be uh, one of the residential areas. The other residential area is blue. That's fine. Uh, we got other colors around the server. I'm going to go into the nether and I'll show you. Time skip, because I can't find the portal. Oh, it's behind the tree. Welcome to the nether! Each of these portals takes you to a different zone. Look at this portal. Southern Residential District. Purple. How do you know this is the purple portal? Well, the portal itself is actually purple. That's a start. But I was thinking, what if I put, like this, a little bit of purple stained clay here. Whoops. Not quite like that. A little bit more like this. There we go. Boom. Purple stained clay. Now you know. Purple. Purple residential district. This one. It's the town hall district. That's the white district. We can just put some white clay. Boom. Like so. Everybody immediately knows white town hall. These ones. They both have orange on the top. Why do they have orange on the top? Doesn't matter. It's the blue district. Let's fix that. That's just wrong. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. These are not permanent decorative changes. I'm expecting somebody is actually going to come in and do the nether, like, really well. Probably, like, Iskol or somebody. Orange district. See? Now, do we have any orange thing clay? Yeah, boom! One, two, th Why is this yellow stuff here? This makes no sense. Somebody went out of their way to intentionally put yellow on top of all of this... All of the portals. All the portals have yellow on them. No reason why. Literally none. Okay, so you got orange, you got blue. What's this one over here? This one. Green District. Well, let me tell you something about the Green District. It's now properly adorned 
with green district colors. Bye bye yellow. Wish I hadn't wasted all of that, uh, you know, green uh, clay on my house. No, I'm glad I did that. That was a good first tip. I hear a ghast somewhere. Let's see. Yellow district. Hey, luckily we've been grabbing yellow stained clay out of everything so far. Jungle here. We should probably move that sign. Oh, that gas noise is bothering me, though. We should probably move that sign onto the thing here. To Jungle Book by Kipling. Done. Light it up. I didn't bring any torches. I'm an excellent planner. Okay, so we got the yellow district. Let's. This is the only one that doesn't have yellow on the top of it. Why? It, this is the only one that needs it. Okay, so we got green. We got blue. I'm really missing spare netherrack. That's that's nice to have. I'm really missing the two extra lime green and the two extra white here. I think I'm gonna run out, grab some additional. Uh, what do you call it? Clay and uh, harden it and whatever. Brown district. Luckily, I got some brown stained clay. We can just do the same thing right here. This one, I'm kind of tempted to... Well, this is going to be hard to see, but whatever. Somebody will eventually clear that up. We can clear it up now. You see a problem, you fix it. Don't be lazy. These are quick tips. Quick tips mean they're fast. Don't be lazy. Be faster at not being lazy. Be quick. Boom. Next tip. Um, Let's see, what is this here? To spawn. We have a portal to spawn now. That's That's brilliant. I don't know why there's yellow here. Okay. Whatever, let's go get some more hardened clay, and then we're going to solve all of our remaining color code related problems. Ta-da! All better! You know what? You know what else we got? We got extra purple stain clay. Let's go ahead and just punch these two holes. Oh, somebody actually mined out the extra obsidian here. No, maybe they made the portal in the nether and then linked it outward. Okay, well, either way. Boom, we got our extra purple here. Let's go ahead and clear up the ceiling. Wait, will that make gas spawn? Maybe let's not clear out the ceiling too much. We don't want gas spawning. And then we can just go ahead and slap these last two green stained clay up here. It's going to look perfect. To dazzling. Boom. It's awesome. Everything is great. Look. Oh, hey, there's little uh, pig man. And uh, cobblestone. Man, the nether has really improved. Oh, I wonder if I should put the under parts of the portal. Nah, that's probably too much. Okay. Well, we've we've learned the limits of our own ability to improve things. We made our base a little bit better by widening our living room and color coding our chests. And we made the nether a lot better by just, you know, color coordinating and all that as well. I'm sure somebody will come in and actually make the nether good in a few episodes. But for right now, this is just a quick and easy way for people to find out where they need to be. So if you see this beautifully color coded in a stream, you know... It was Joe Hills who made it all better, who solved all of your ills. I can't keep this rhyme going until it gives you chills. So until I do, I must bid you adieu, and I say to you, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.